This car literally has no competitor. Welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia cars. I am inside 2024 Kia Ray EV. For those of you guys who don't know what that car is, I don't blame you. As far as I know, this car is for domestic market only. Picanto is globally sold vehicle and I've seen many of that car when I was in Seychelles on my honeymoon so I know I've been there and look at this just a real quick the acceleration I was test driving Hyundai Ioniq 5N the most powerful Hyundai Korean car ever made with a whopping 650 horsepower so this acceleration kind of doesn't feel or mean much to me right now as I speak, but it's not a fair game for this electric vehicle, a tiny K car. So here in Korea, this is a compact car, which is subject to many of the deductions and exemptions from the taxes, starting with the emissions, the public parking lot fee, the 50% discount, annual registration fee. The list just goes on and on and on. So there is the Ray right there. And I tell you, we will see at least 30 ray along this test drive quickly a washer fluid picanto right there so i'll actually count how many rays i see along the test drive not the most aerodynamic friendly windshield i would say however it definitely gives me that broad <laughs> crazy amount of view as you can see not to mention about the flag type glass largest one i've ever seen thus far a literally box shape and we all know that the box shape is the best when it comes to the cargo space and capability and so forth that is what this ray is known for it's been over a decade since the release of this ray however the design hasn't changed all that much ever since people have been loving this car as i have said it always has been in that category of the top 10 sales never once did it lose that position you can just go talk to anybody who owns and operates this ray 100 satisfaction guarantee along with porter and bongo which are the pickup trucks from hyundai and Kia. ever since the debut of this ray this car has been doing a lot of commercial use as well as it's a perfect getaway car for your weekend even on your leisure activities go around with your family doggos bring it out to the camping sites there are actually people here in korea who uses and utilize this vehicle for their camping use so that's the leisure category that i mentioned but it certainly had its downside so it was the poor engine along with the four speed transmission which just was never enough Kia ray also came in the naturally aspirated engine so there was the turbo which was a little bit of a solution to somewhat extent however it never was enough but come ev ray electric solves a lot of question to those problems that i just have addressed however this is the second generation kia ev ray that i am driving but the first gen also had a lot of it some downside maybe it's because of the first gen being and that was the time when kia hyundai all the korean cars and just the car manufacturers in general were trying out this and that with their electric vehicles it had a poor battery capacity and also the quality wise the first gen could only go up to about 100 kilometers per charge max the more you charge the battery the use of the battery the lifespan durability and longevity on the battery itself just reduced just super quick car literally was worn out and it's i'm not talking about the exterior of the vehicle but it was the battery that caused all this problem when it comes to the evs the batteries are really high maintenance and that's the reason why i we just don't see the first gen ray we just don't see the first gen anymore on the streets however as i have said the problems are solved with the second gen i will also run you and tell you about the numbers the performance this car can actually deliver i am on a mountainous road as you can see there is just no problem of me driving this car around this car being a tiny tiny car you can just maneuver easily but it comes with the outrageous <laughs> storage right here is the kia picanto the brand new one 
right there on the background. So that's also a brand new Picanto that just rolled out. And I believe not many of the countries are getting it at the moment. Just look how easy this car makes the maneuver. It really is just truly a beautiful car to drive around here and there in the cities and so forth. So let me give you some of the numbers. I got my uh, cheat sheet right here. Because the engine was just so small and lack of power, it was making a loud noise despite the fact that it being the gasoline engine. But all of that is gone. You see, complete silence. You know, it's just a rejuvenation that you get from the mother nature like this. And EV just suits the best out of it all. All right, I gotta pull you up. Okay, well, looking at the window, it's only the driver's seat that is completely automated. The rest, you actually have to hold it onto to pull it down and up. Only the front row seats that will go all the way down. The rear second row seats have windows going down about that much. Just spacious inside. The first gen had less than 100 kilometers in a single full charge, and the battery life longevity on it was problematic, as I have told you. However, the second gen, which this comes with the 35.2 kilowatt hour battery it can accommodate up to 150 kilowatt of charging speed when conditions are met it comes with a 64.3 kilowatt motor which converts into roughly about 86 horsepower given this car being an ev no transmission it will just send the car out right away all of this put together official driving distance is 205 kilometers under perfect driving conditions of course the numbers will easily go up which is the case with all of ev cars out in the market and the supplier for the battery is catl the driving range all put together is 5.1 kilometers per kilowatt hour that is six kilometers on the city and 4.4 kilometers on highway as for the price with all the government subsidy and all this car 17,000 US dollars to 18,000 US dollars so it really is a perfect commuter car commercial car leisure car as I have been telling you but there are of course some um, shortcomings and cons when it comes to this car let me tell you about that along the drive and using the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel you can actually set the levels of the region brake and I see one two three and four so you could set four different levels of the region brake and there also is i pedal which is equivalent to that of the one pedal driving from other manufacturers so you can drive operate the vehicle just using the accelerator take your foot off the car will slow down and also come to a complete halt you will get used to how powerful it is in about a few kilometers of driving this vehicle so don't worry about it if it's your first time and of course you can completely disable it and push it all the way to level four i don't think i feel any of the region brake um, engaging so the car is just gliding it's cruising down you do need foot brake in order to slow this car down when you don't have any region brake running it's the basic thing with the evs you want to use the region brake to maximize the driving range possible i mean i really am a big fan of ipedal like once i get used to it there is no going back when i just do a gentle city cruise and drives around the places i always have this on and of course i am praising this car because not only is it unique in its category this car indeed is one of a kind however it still is a k car it still is a compact car it still is gyeongcha in korean its shortcomings is first of all it does not come with smart cruise control or smart active cruise control where the car will detect the traffic in the front and it will slow down and accelerate and vice versa automatically it only has a cruise control where it will lock on a certain acceleration speed i would have given like a hundred score out of anything for this kia ray if it did come with the smart active cruise control hopefully in the next generation if not on a facelift maybe if a car came with a smart cruise control oh god this car literally has no competitor high line of sight relatively because of the car being a box car like it's really easy to take a look at just drive around easy to maneuver as you just all saw if you haven't driven a compact or k car before it's a completely different experience and a lot of people do own a compact 
K car like this Kia Ray just because it's so easy to drive around and perfect car for cities. All right, so all of me cherishing, embracing this car, this Kia Ray, what do you think is a bit of a downside for this car? Maybe was it the price? Was it the looks? Honestly, I gotta say, I mean, it doesn't have, it's not the best looking car out in the market. Among the K cars, among Gyeongcha, I really actually, this is my personal favorite. It looks cute, cute enough it's super super practical so speaking of that i will show you all about the space and practicality of this kia ray right now because it really is about the interior when it comes to kia ray so this is the infotainment system by the way showing you the battery the driving distance it says 246 kilometers and it's not even fully charged this is what i mean so you this car will easily travel more than 205 kilometers unlike what it said official and this tiny screen i mean but it gets the job done right i mean i am not going to complain at all about that i mean it's got the good mix of the physical buttons you will get used to this system in no time epb electronic parking brake right here engage and disengage auto hold oh it even has the ventilated seats for the driver's seat heated seats on the both sides and usb outlet and 12 volt outlet right there as well and that is a huge storage space perfect spot for your smartphones including that side over there average consumption and all of the numbers are much higher than what it was said on the official data so there are the don'ts i told you about so there are no hud on this car along with the smart cruise control i told you about look how massive this car is the doors and all the amount of the angle that the door opens up on the driver's side but just come around when you actually open this part up this is the best part ever look at that the passenger seat the passenger door actually opens 90 degrees a day and night difference driver's seat versus the passenger seat i actually saved the last the best part until the last <laughs> it's got the sliding door on the passenger side there is no b pillar in the middle there just is no obstruction look at this there is no obstruction of doing whatever or whatever you want with this this is the reason why i said it's a perfect commercial car as well as the leisure car because the best part is she located right here vertically opening like it opens up 90 degrees and just look at this the storage is on the rear too so there is the second row seat that you can have the inclination up to about two clicks it looks like i'll check it out momentarily it still has storage is here more storage is here storage here that's the first click the first click second click third fourth fifth six the first click versus the maximum click so yeah not much of a difference but it does make a difference when you go sit inside the car and just look how easily i get in despite this car being a micro tiny k car <laughs> that's the power of the sliding door on the passenger side like this would make a per and look at this i can just easily move between on the second row seat just like this room inside but again this makes a perfect city car like no problem whatsoever sitting inside for 30 minutes an hour two hour drive it's all right put all that aside you guys are getting people that get this car and you should get this car when you have the intention of driving this car around in cities so that is the extra storage that i told you about you can just put tons of stuff inside here there are good chance that you will forget what stuff you put in here a little tiny there's the armrest here too the center arm console two cup holders storage is here you see more of them evidently right now just getting all the sunlight in the world right into the cabin the second row seat also gets heated seats wow nice touch c charging ports here and a little bit of a storage cute cute whatever that pocket is for <laughs> cup holders windows i told you about so is there a v2l no but sliding rails for the second row seat and you can completely fold this guy down like so that is what this kia ray is all about
That wheel kind of reminiscent of EV9. Is it just me? Opposites United vibe right there, of course, because there is the circle outside and rectangle inside with four spokes like that. Long, long tailgate, sliding doors. No door that needs to be closed first. So you can open and close whichever the door you want. So it's gonna work either way. So that is also the best part, look at that. I am actually making my reference to the Mazda RX-8, if you will. <laughs> and look at this, this is the front look. And finally, I get to show you the complete exterior of the vehicle. DRL uses the latest on design cue from the Gia brand and family. Radiator opening here, but the best part sits the charging port that would pop open like that. And nice flat latest brand new Gia emblem. It actually charges from the front, supports the DC combo type, a little bit of a lighting for the nighttime. So no fancy thing, nothing automated. So it's a budget EV, if you will, but still, I really like it. And that is the tiger face. You can see the tiger nose in the middle. I really do like this design. What do you say? The molding is actually stretching out all the way to here. You see, they've gone above and beyond. This is beautiful sky, by the way. <laughs> so they've gone above and beyond with this portion, utilized everything that a boxy car has got to offer. All right, so that's it for a quick test drive, a uh, POV drive, if you will, of the Kia Ray EV, the second generation, one of the best-selling K cars here in Korea. Tell me in the comment below how you like it. Would you like to see this car where you are? Kia might consider one, right? Over Picanto. And I really, really think that they should introduce this Kia Ray EV to the world. It just is unique car of its own. It's class, but it's really, really practical. Th that being said, the sales on Kia Ray is actually skyrocketing here in Korea. I think it just solved all of the downside that the internal combustion Kia Ray had. All right, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.